In this video, I'll show you how to set up a lower thirds in Adobe Premiere Pro. Click on the effect you like to jump to that part of the video, or if you haven't made your lower thirds yet, you can also watch my Photoshop tutorial. Creating the fade effect is very easy. Once you've dragged your lower thirds onto the timeline, click on effects. Go down to video transitions and drag cross dissolve on the start and end of your clip. Adjust the length of it accordingly and you're done. Next we're going to do the linear wipe. So drag your lower thirds into the timeline. Go to effects and search for linear wipe. Drag it onto your clip. Go to effects controls at the top. Now I know the angle for mine is minus 228, so that's what I'm going to set it at. If you're not sure what it is, just play around with it and you'll figure it out. Set the feather to 100. Click the stopwatch icon next to transitions completion to enable keyframes. And the transitions completion to 100. Now move along and set the transition to zero. Move along again. Click on the keyframe and copy it. Move along to the end and set it to 100. And you're done. And lastly, the flying effect. Drag your lower thirds into Premiere Pro. Place it on the timeline. Click effects controls at the top. Make sure you have your layer selected. Click the stopwatch icon next to position. Make sure you have the current time indicator positioned a bit before halfway through. Drag it to the beginning of the clip and start dropping down the first number until the lower third is out of sight on the left hand side. Now we can see it flies in. Position the current time indicator at the end of the clip and start increasing the second number. This will make the lower thirds go down. Do this until it's out of sight. Now position the current time indicator in between the last two keyframes and copy the second one and use Ctrl V to paste it in between the two. Now it flies in, stays visible for a few seconds and flies out. Now we're going to have the opacity match that. Drop down the settings for the opacity. Make sure you have the stopwatch icon checked to enable keyframes. With the current time indicator at the beginning, place a keyframe with the opacity set to zero. Go to the second keyframe and put it to 100. Copy that keyframe and put it below the other one and set the last keyframe to zero. Now we can see it flies in getting more visible and flies out getting less visible. The closer you move the keyframes together here, the faster all of this will happen. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, hope the video helped. If you haven't yet seen my Photoshop tutorial on making your lower thirds, you can click on screen now to watch that. Otherwise, thank you for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe.